If I'm being completely honest, I think I should have maybe seen some warning signs. So I was really pushing myself, you know, staying out after doing extra shooting, getting on the treadmill in the train in the gym to do extra runs to try and build my fitness up. And I was really, really pushing. Um, Emma had kind of pulled me after the United game and said, "Look, I feel like you're in a good position. I'm going to start you midweek, so make sure you're ready." All along the way, I had this really quite horrible lingering cough. It was around about eight, nine o'clock, and I was like, "This doesn't feel right. You know, this doesn't feel how I'm supposed to feel." And all of a sudden, I just got to get started to get extreme chest pains, like hanging onto the table. I don't know what's going on. Something's happening. I need help. Something's really bad. And then that's when I started to get really lightheaded, really dizzy. Everything was kind of spinning, um, and yeah, I actually uh, collapsed. It's funny because I actually have the 999 phone call that kind of like Beth put in and you can just hear the panic in her voice and Maren was kind of like stressing because she kind of had hold of me and she was trying to wake me up and like they were saying that my eyes rolled back. To sit here I would say like I was fully thought I was having a heart attack. The next day you know I went into the training ground and you know it was kind of like trying to be as discreet as possible that something had happened and you know it was it was kind of something for like oh, I collapsed last night and everyone was like what? I think the first week was I want to say the hardest because that was where I was more visibly sick you know I was, I was throwing up drained completely um, me and Emma decided that we wanted to keep it, you know, between us and between me and the doctors so then the girls could kind of just focus on the league. You know, I was on medication for three months and it just wasn't shifting and I was just like, why is this not leaving me? I came back in and tried to do little things. I tried to do, you know, balance work, some core. And then the next day I came in and I was sick everywhere. My body wasn't ready. You know, that's all I've ever known as being part of the team. And then when you get told you're not allowed to walk up the stairs more than twice a day, it's, it's quite, you know, it makes you feel trapped. I shut out quite a lot. You know, I was saying, you know, to people, oh, come round, like, I really want to see people. People would come and then I would just kind of sit with my back to them playing a puzzle or something because then I was just like, okay, no, this is too much. Like, I feel really poorly. There was times when obviously I was like, I don't know, if, like, where am I ever going to get any better? Am I going to be able to play again? I I nearly picked up the phone to call Emma and say, look, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't do this anymore. I remember the first time that I woke up and I went, it's not really there. Like, and that was just like amazing. Like, even though I wasn't completely well, I woke up and there was no chest pain. I was like, great, this is a great day. I'm happy for this day. Getting to play in the Community Shield was, was incredible. You know, you, you, you're stepping out of Wembley um, and we won, which was incredible, winning like the first trophy. And yeah, I think is something that you don't ever forget you know don't I didn't I don't forget my first training session don't forget my first time playing in pre-season I definitely won't forget that game for sure Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.